Hey guys, I'm Daisho, here playing some magic. Today I'm going to be playing Celestial Light. And uh, Celestial Light is basically um, in one of the more interesting decks in this game because there's so many playable cards, but it's really hard for them to work together to actually make a deck. Wow, what, what terrible, terrible starting hands. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll keep this one. So I was talking with uh, Wingspan TT, and we were basically discussing about how neither of us really liked this deck too much, and we basically, uh, or he basically came up with the idea of running it as a like mostly flyers deck and like flying aggressivity, and uh, I'm gonna try and see if that works. I guess I probably should have started the video by showing you my build. But I basically took out a lot of the life gain and put in a lot of the flyers, and I am about to get destroyed by Ace turn 1, a quarter paladin turn 2. If I can survive till turn 4, then I've got a chance, because then I can Day of Judgment, but I'm going to take 6 here and 6 next turn, so that's another 12 at least. And if he plays another spell here, then even more. Alright, so even more. I guess it's another 2 each turn. So I'm going to take 8 here, go down to 10, and then another 8, go down to 2. Well, I hope he plays a dude next turn, I guess. I mean, playing Glorious Anthem is better than him playing, like, Crusader of Odric, I guess. Because then I would have gotten, eh, gotten hit for fur four either way. So, you know, I mean, I actually could stabilize and come back from this deficit. Unless he's actually just going to play Honor the Pure. Um, yep. <laughs> wow. Well, that was a fun game. And he did he even had the Doom Traveler, so if I had played the Day of Judgment, he still would have survived. That was that was certainly a fun game. But anyway, that's why I run these two cards in the deck because if your opponent doesn't have an early play, game's just over. There's nothing they can do about it. I mean, I guess I probably could have kept the second hand. It had what? Source Splashers, Double Day of Judgment, Bane Slayer Angel, and two lands. I don't know. Maybe that would work. Maybe something else in there also that I didn't even remember. Maybe Marshall's Anthem. Anyway, that was probably one of the quickest defeats I've ever had. Um, but, yeah. So, I guess now I can show you the uh, the deck list. Because that was... I mean, I don't really think that the deck was showcased to its full potential right there. Um, in the... Give him the old not cast a spell game. Multi six not cast a spell. <laughs> anyway, um a couple of Soul Wardens still because there wasn't really much else to put in over them. I mean I guess I could throw a golden glow moth in there. But I took out all these guys because I don't really think that I can consistently get up to forty life. Um I took out a Pride Mate, but I still have three in. Even because there still is a bunch of life gain in here. Um these guys are just too good to take out. None of heroism I thought was really good because a lot of my flyers actually don't have lifelink. So giving them lifelink is pretty sweet. Still have three of the pride mates in, so that's good. Three of these Gambo Sky Guards. Obviously locks it on Warhammer is insane. Still left in the removal. Put in these Slith Ascendants. Like, they take a while to get going, but once they do, they win. White Sun Zenith can just win you the game by itself, so I left that in there. And then I have, like, Day of Judgment, Mar Marshall Sansom. Three of these um, Seraph of Dawns, a couple of Baneslayer Angels, this Archon of Redemption dude, and then Swell of Courage and Purify. So, that is the deck. And hopefully, I can actually get a real game this time, because the first one was a little bit, a little bit silly, I'd say. I'm not even gonna, not even gonna complain about it or anything. <laughs> so, um, yeah, maybe I'll actually get to keep a seven card hand this game. That'd be nice, and maybe it'll have spells that I can cast. Okay, uh, this looks like a pretty decent starting hand. I mean, I've got Soul Warden, um, this and this guy to like get me to the mid game, and then hopefully Baneslayer Angel will just take it home. But it looks like he's well, he might be playing Mill. I really don't know. I just assume crosswinds because Mill's terrible, so I don't really think that people ever play it. Wow. I'm going to have one insane mana curve, depending on my draws. Like, I could easily just draw um, land, uh, Seraph of Dawn, land, and then it'll be, like, the greatest draw of all time. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, curve out, and then, like, into White Sun Zenith for a six drop. <laughs> Three cats. That would be kind of sweet. And, alright. Looks like my opponent decided to let me go today. That's, that's always preferable. So we did get the land, so that's good. 
And we just need a couple more things to complete our master plan. But he's probably going to be... Actually, no, he would have played Fog Bank this turn. Because putting the Ring of Evos Isle out there without any creatures is kind of useless. But at least my opponent's running the ring. I mean, it's usually not a great card. Hold on a second. <coughs> I tried to move the microphone out of the way, but... Um, actually, I think that was still really big. Maybe... I'll, I think I'll put another sneeze warning in there, because... I don't want you to uh, be alarmed or anything. I'm gonna attack. F I'm gonna be attacking a, a first because uh, actually I don't really care if he cancels my Kemba Sky Guard. I'd rather he didn't, but if he does, then it's like okay, we traded a card for a card, and it's not even one of my better cards. So, <laughs> like, it's better than him canceling Baneslayer. Don't really care, and unfortunately, the second Kemba Sky Guard. Um, it was supposed to be it was supposed to be a Seraphodon, but they accidentally gave me a Kemba Skyguard. The uh, the guys down at the factory screwed up there, and they sent me the wrong guy, sent me the wrong part. Maybe uh, maybe sometime in the future we shall prevail. But he is at 16. I'm at 23. Um, all right, that's Tauron's invocation. But yeah, okay, so I can't even play Bainslayer this turn. But hopefully I draw Seraphodon here. It'd be cute. And I can still attack with my, uh, well, I mean, yeah, I can trade one for one, my, my, uh, my knight, I would be happy to trade one for one, I suppose. It's one for one because he can just double block and, and kill me, but he's just going to take the damage. It's probably the wrong play, you don't really want to be, uh, trading life. Well, I guess I got up to 30 life, so I could have been playing those stupid, um, 6-6 six, six flyers for one, but... Yeah, you don't really want to be trading four for... I mean, like, since I'm already up 16 life, four for two doesn't really... What are you doing? Why is he attacking with one guy? All right, cool. I mean, I guess I probably should have blocked because he's just going to block when I attack, so... Well, it's probably pretty bad. Okay, so he's going to leave that guy back, but it um, doesn't really make sense to put it on him. Oh, man! That guy, I guess I probably wasn't going to put my Bane Slayer into a cancel anyway, so. Oh well. Let's attack. But now, I mean, obviously I'm not going to play Bane Slayer because it just gets wrecked by this, uh, by the Hatchling Broski. And he's just going to take another 4 damage. I mean, I guess it makes sense because this guy's going to get bigger and now he's actually going to be able to pretty much wall my side. Until I can play Bane Slayer, if I can ever play Bane Slayer. Or, I mean, I could just get a bunch of cats eventually. And he's going to attack with two guys. Okay. So, next turn, if he doesn't play any more creatures, I still attack with the side. For sure. Including Soul Warden. Um, and he's got six lands, two cards in hand. It's probably a bad idea to run Bane Slayer out into that. But he's probably, yeah, he's probably just going to block that guy. I guess I should have, well, yeah, I probably should have played Bane Slayer first main if I was going to play him at all. And he hits the table. So I don't know what he's got in hand. But I can't really imagine what it could be if he's like, yeah, Bane Slayer, that's not a big deal. Alright, that's cool. Day of Dragons. He's going to play Day of Dragons. I don't know, just an 8-7. <laughs> that's cool. Huh. Well, this game's about to slow down. I guess, I mean, I could just hold back and play 45 cats eventually. It's not like he's killing me anytime soon. Although, actually, with the ring, if he leaves it on that guy one more time, one more turn, then he's going to have two guys that are bigger than my, uh, my Bane Slayer. So that's no good. Goliath Sphinx beats. Nope. He doesn't like it. Oh, God. Drawing three cards. Wow. That is... terrifying. I get, I could go for a day of judgment here. That wouldn't be the worst day. I would I would be I would be fine with that. <laughs> would there would be no complaints from the die show. Because it's just like Day of Judgment, White Sun Zenith, what are you gonna do to that, Broski? Bro bros Broski. Why are you not passing the turn? I hate it when that happens. It's so frustrating. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Alright. Well, that's cool. Let's attack. <laughs> Charge, my team. 
Actually, it makes sense to attack because I, I for sure gained the five life going up to 38, so. There's that. Um, there's an argument to be made for holding back one turn and trying to see if he's got a. Um, trying to see if he's got another creature to play. Or like a Talon's Invocation or something like that. But that argument is just met by the fact that he could have like a Mana Leak or. or well, he can't Mana Leak, but he could have a. Um, a cancel in hand, so. Look, he already used one of his cancels. Alright, what you got? Towns Invocation, okay. Twin casted Towns Invocation. Well, that's fun. He's got one card in hand. What are the chances that it's actually the card that it needs to be? Let's see, how many how many two twos am I gonna get? Four. Yeah, I'm gonna get five two twos. Oh, but he's got a three three. That's not great. Yeah, it's ma well, he could have mana leak. He's not gonna have mana leak. We're just gonna wait another. Come on, give me a land. Or a spell. Actually, it has to be a land or a spell. Yes! Go die show. I am going to win. They have judgment 2.0. Bigger, faster, better, and stronger wouldn't be terrible. Again, we're just waiting. We're waiting on Axis 3441 to actually notice that it's the end of his turn. And we drew a land or a spell. So let's give me give me six cats, please. Thank you. All right, so here's what happens. Um, he holds back, obviously. Four of my cats die. Two of them, ugh. Two of them get in. Two of them survive. That's not really good. <laughs> I still need to draw something if I want to win this game. Another Towerin's invocation. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? <laughs> this game is ridiculous. It's like you can go on forever. Wow. He's moving. Yeah, it makes sense to move the ring over, but I think I still, I, I still have to attack, right? Because the ring's just gonna win him the game if I don't attack. But he's gonna be, he's gonna be up a, a creature at the end of this, at the end of the day here. So it's not really good for me. Charge! My team of mighty cats take down the flying drakes. <laughs> this is really funny. It's six cats versus six drakes. Repulse. Screw you, jerk. Oh god, this game is. I'm not gonna win this game. There's no way that I win this one. He's just gonna block. He's just gonna leave his dude that is gonna be a three-three alive and just trade everything else. Yeah. So then he's going to be left with two creatures that are three threes. I'm left with nothing. You can have the prize and I am left with nothing. But I am, I still am at 38, which is, I guess, an advantage at this point. Um, so I just need to trust that my deck will, uh, will provide. It has in the past and it shall again. Come on, deck. I don't even know what I want to draw, though. Like, that's the, <laughs> that's the biggest issue right here is... I guess I want to draw pu pure pure something or other. Purity? Purify? Moment of heroism? Where have you been? <laughs> no! Why could I not have had that when you had your Goliath Sphinx and I had my Bane Slayer out? That would have been, would have been fairly awesome. Outs oh my god, that's the best thing you could have drawn in the deck! Roar. Uh, I'll draw a couple cards. If, if that's okay with you, I'll, I'll, I'll just draw a couple of cards right here. <laughs> um, God damn it. This is going to be slow and painful chipping away of my existence. Uh, Pride mate, go! <laughs> I choose you. Um, no, I won't. He'll still have a 5-5. Five five. I was thinking that... Oh, no, he's just going to... Repulse it. Oh no, he's just gonna draw a card and step. That makes sense. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. But his guy's a 5 5, so even with the plus 2, plus 2, I'm still screwed. <laughs> mm, absolutely destroyed. Man, just draw it. Maybe he'll attack with his 2 1 here. He's like, yeah, that'll be a good trade. And I'll be like, Mama, no heroism. And then he'll be like, draw two cards, find an answer, kill you. <laughs> I'll draw once, and I'll. Play a land, draw again, draw again. <laughs> it's whatever. Followed footsteps. You jerk. I'll just have to kill that thing now. Well, I would. He, I mean, yeah. Oh, he's attacking. 
with that one. That's weird. I don't know why he would leave the 3-3 three, three back. Um, there's another White Sun Zenith. If any card is going to get me out of it, it's White Sun Zenith. Um, and I just play it now before he has a chance to do shit. <laughs> roar. Roar, motherfucker, roar. <laughs> I has cats. I can't has cats. Roar. I guess it makes sense for him to leave back the 3-3 so I can't attack with my 2-2. You have four creatures. I have eight. I have eight cats. See, this guy's a cat too. Cat soldier, motherfucker. Okay, so he's got five creatures. I have eight. Shit. Oh, wait, wait. No! <laughs> no! He's gonna get back his tower and invocation to play that as well. Oh, God. What do I need here? Twin. He has a tower and invocation in hand already? Or maybe he's just got, like, Repulse Twin Cast. Ugh. Sad town Daisho entering. I So far, twice, I have top decked, or I've played a freaking... Why is he attacking? Does that allow me to win? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Unless he's got a Towns Invocation, I win. Towns Invocation or Counter Spell. Either, oh, no tower is invocation. Come on, Daisho. We can do it. We can do it. I have faith in me. Charge my cat army of cats. Get him in the face. Oh, shoot. I should have played the guy first main phase. Because he would have given my, uh, my pride mate cat more power. But he's, okay, so he's got a double repulse. You jerk. Well... Let's see what let's see how he blocks now. It's not necessarily over yet. Okay. Um so I still have six guys coming and he's got five blockers. So if he lets three of them through, which is a possibility. Uh, no, he's not going to. Wait. Yes. Go to one. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No! <laughs> you monster. You monster. Ah. Uh. Alright, so do I take him down to one or do I save my pride mate? I think I save the pride mate. Alright. Maybe I should have I should have taken him down to one, I think. Alright, and now we play this thingy. And other than the fact that he's got an Azur Mage, I think I'm winning. No, this was better than taking him down to one because it kills a blocker as well, which I wouldn't have killed. And saves a No! Why is my life so terrible? <laughs> oh my god, this is this is one of the craziest games I've ever had. Life gain decks just make for insane games. I was on the other side of this last time. Of course he gets his Bane Slayer Angel back. And there's his other Ring of Evo style, a.k.a. the reason why he's still winning. <laughs> or why he's winning at all, that is. Um, man. Not really much I can do against a Shroudy... Or a... Hexproof Baneslayer Angel, I guess. It's just Day of Judgment. Day of Judgment again. <laughs> Let's do it. I, I only use one of these things, right? Yeah. I still have another one in deck. Let's go. <laughs> I dare you, bro. I dare you. What else can I draw? Swell of Courage? That might... No, it probably wouldn't do it. He'll probably just block everything. Land definitely won't do it, though. Uh, You can go. <laughs> oh, damn it. Um, How about, like... The thing, you kick the thing and then it becomes really good. Marshall's Anthem. Getting back, like, Bane Slayer. Maybe Soul Warden. Man, if I had left a Soul Warden on the board for this whole time, I'd be at, like, 400. He's just drawing freaking cards. Last turn was the turn to get Day of Judgment, because now it's kind of too late. Because he just drew another three cards. Man, he was really thinking about letting that last guy through. It would have been the game. Okay, you're cool with your Bane Slayer Angel. Think you're really cool with your Bane Slayer Angel and, and, and shit? 
You're not. You hear you hear me? You hear me? Okay. Well, this game's going downhill fast. Uh, uh just drawing cards. Yeah, sorry guys, it does not look like I'll be able to pull this one out of the bag, but it was definitely um definitely a pretty sweet ride, I think. I thought I was going to win like three separate times during this game, and then I just thought I was putting myself in excellent position to win. Um, yeah, I guess I'll block. No reason in keeping that guy around and taking nine. If I do draw a Day of Judgment, oh my god, I need a Day of Judgment. Play like two more spells, please. Oh no. Oh no. What is he getting back? Oh, just Taron's invocation. That's a land. So I'm yeah, I'm just dead. Well, there we go. That took a while, but um, we have learned the truth. I have been defeated by Azermage. <laughs> Literally, card that beat me this game. Well, actually, it was one-two punch. It was Azermage and Ring of Evos Isle. There was also a hint of Taron's invocation in there, but it was pretty much just those two. Um, those two broskies just combined to destroy my existence and pretty much everything that I stand for. I, I would go with everything that I stand for. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video though and have a nice day. Bye!